this example is based on a long form video. So a video perhaps over five minutes. I usually work with clients who have maybe longer form video of maybe 20, 30 minutes and we repurpose a lot of it. So you got to get your video and you got to subtitle it. Subtitles on video are hugely, hugely important. You'll also want to transcribe it, get a transcription. So turning video into text-based content. Then what you want to do is you want to create epic videos. Epic videos really shine online. They've got a static headline. They've got branding. They have a progress bar in terms of how much you have watched and how much is left to watch. And you also have the subtitles. It also is framed in some sort of a, a border and a box. Then we're going to take our transcription of that video and turn it into a blog post, an article, a Q&A or an FAQ piece that's going to be optimized and sit on our website. Then we're going to take some soundbite quotes and we want to turn these into short audiograms, for example, where we've got the audio playing and it's overlaid by some nice graphics. Then we've got lots of opportunity to create social graphics. So a preview of the full video, a soundbite clip, um, also uh, quote graphics, maybe a carousel for Instagram. And then you might go into an animated video. And why might you do this? So if you've got a piece to camera that's cut from your main video, oftentimes if it's an explainer, using animation is a great way to convince the public or indeed to educate them. Then, of course, you've got your audio and you want to deal with the audio. I've mentioned audiograms, which bring audio to life on the social networks. Of course, we can go into podcasting. We might even play some of those audio clips then on our Twitter spaces and then watch the space for Facebook audio. And then the last stage is scaling and really teaching your entire team and maybe even individuals and staff within other departments about this workflow.